Hi friends, welcome back. So today our practical name is how to configure Puppet and install the Puppet. Okay guys, first of all I would like to tell you what is a Puppet. Puppet is nothing, it is just a automated tool. There are other tools also like a Puppet, like a self and ball and they have their own beauties right and puppet has his own so today we will just learn how to install puppet and configure puppet and we would have a second session for this also that's called the manifest of this how we deploy this okay so just for information puppet gives you automatic way to inspect and deliver and operate and a future proof all of your software and no matter where it's run with a puppet approach you know what you have so you can control it okay so now let's uh, work on puppet my desktop It's my desktop. Okay, let me log in with it on my Puppet server. And the one we would have another one thirty six. Open this. Just hold on. Uh, yeah, we have another server also here. Root. The password is red. Okay, guys. So before just run this command. Yeah, delete. And we have this. Okay. Let me tell you pre request which is required before the install. Okay. Number one. We require two servers, two nodes. Second, yum should be work. And internet should also work. Okay, and set host name on both nodes. They should in the etc post files. Okay, okay. Just for us, this is my puppet server. These are my clients. Okay. For example, what's the use of this? I I will install any package here, and I will give you some instruction on puppet. Okay. Please go and install this package and all of my clients. It's not only three. You can it could it can have one thousand, ten thousand, uh, as per your environment, right? If I will create one user here, the user will be automatically conflict. Uh, you know, reflect here by default. Puppet connect your you know all of clients of Puppet. They will. Uh, you know connect with the puppet server every 30 minutes by default but you can change this interval time okay okay <laughs> let's work okay this is my puppet server make sure you have a puppet so in the puppet server first of all what you need to do it's it's my master and it is my client okay so First of all, I have to install one package that's yum install. 
first before that let me show you etc host file here i configure my puppet both entry you have to make sure these both entry are on both side and they should be pinged with an ip and with a host name right and the second your internet should be work like yahoo.com is working properly control c and same here because i don't want you start your practical and there are a few prerequisites which is not working like so you're getting error right and i don't want to disappoint you okay now let's mm, come on close it and you what we need to do first we have to yum install wget yeah this is the one package actually which we require to download a package over the internet as all of you know that we download a package on with the help of this this is a command which is used in the Linux okay so once we have this package in our system what would be our next step so like in this server it is going to install okay yeah just yeah so we can see that on both host we have a, this package now what we need to do the next you have to install a package i just uh, you know this is my you know you have to install this okay you run the command this package is already downloaded on the server and the same i have to do that client okay now what would be our next step on the server side on the server side we have to run the command yum hyphen install puppet puppet hyphen server okay make sure you run this command on a puppet master only i run this command puppet is not available okay sorry my bad before that you have to install so that uh, this package install puppet repository on your system rpm vh puppet okay the package uh, what this packet did it just install some perfect repositories on both nodes yeah you can see that okay and now it's on my server so on my server what i need to do i have to install puppet hyphen server okay it take only a few minutes and it will download all your packages what is required to for puppet and one more information puppet is written in a ruby language you can see this is ruby shadow and ruby and more that's why it's installed you can see most of packages are ruby 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 this is the language actually okay okay now what is our next step now let's go in the file it is the puppet puppet and puppet.config right okay here are two options one is a main and another is a agent so make sure when you are doing any configuration on a server side you don't need to do anything in the agent area you have to make everything all the changes you have to do in the main right okay now let's press now what you need to do now we have to write here dns underscore a r t alt underscore name names okay and space quick and type the name of your puppet server puppet hyphen master dot locker okay and type one and then crt name name 
Please pop it. Okay. Now just save this file. Simple. And run one command. That's called sudo hyphen u puppet. A puppet have his own user, which is used to configure this, like other software, like for Oracle, we have Oracle user, right? DM and I J E. I hope spelling is good. Because I'm really bad in spelling. Okay, this that. Wow. Okay, my bad. It's a puppet to time. It's a puppet. Puppet master. When it's running this command, now see, it will generate some certificate and all. When you see this version, then press Control C. So, it's done what we require. Forget about the rest of things. Just you know, cancel this process. Okay. Now what? What is our next step? We have to run a command. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, this. Sorry. Some start. Pop it. Pop it. Some background noise. I cannot do anything in that. Sorry for this. Mm, system CTL space start and puppet master. I start this. Now let's uh, make it enable so that um, puppet can be um, start automatically when system got reboot. Okay. We have done all the changes. What uh, what is required on the server side? Let's go on a client side. Okay. On the client side, we already done changes and what is we have to install install puppet i just make i want to remind you on the puppet server we install puppet master all right and here what we are going to do we have to install only puppet okay now you install a puppet and here also we have a same configuration file right and in that you do not need to change anything in the main section you have to make changes in your client section as i told you right you know puppet puppet.config now go to in agent section okay and type o and so type o is just for you know right on the next line so space you have to just type the name of your master server you don't need to do anything else okay dot local mm, local okay and what is the next step now is to save the file okay now yes okay the file is saved now what you need to do you have to run the command like puppet puppet agent space t what this will do it generate a certificate and which request to master server like please assign me a certificate allow me to you know be a client of puppet server okay once you run this command okay after run this command what you need to do now let's check on the server do we have any certificate okay now you run a command puppet okay puppet crt list list you oh my bad i told you guys i'm really bad in spell spelt list list okay so first time you have to do this for all clients clients will initiate a one certificate to the master server and master server will allow that certificate and allow for that user 
to be a part of Puppet server. Now you can see we have a one server that's a Puppet local client. So now to assign it, so allow it be a part of Puppet client, and run the command Puppet, okay, CRD cert, then sign. I'm going to sign it. Yes, I'm ready for this. Now just copy this host name. You don't need to do anything else. Very simple way. Just this and done. Wow, it's done. What is our next step? Now go to the client side. Now you have to do the same thing like you've done on a Puppet Master Server, Puppet, Puppet Start and enable it. Great. So what is the next? Now I just want to check that is it my Puppet client is connected with my Puppet Server? Yeah, not. Okay. Now I run puppet agent hyphen hyphen if I any finger print. This is a command to check is it my puppet client is connected successfully with the puppet master. You run this command, it gives you output this. When it's give you this output, that's me. Yes, your server is connected with the puppet master server okay guys this is the practical how to install and configure a puppet master and client server okay in next video we will show you how we will create a manifest how to install how to create a file how to edit a file how to create a user in uh, through a puppet you have to do nothing on the client you have to just make changes on your server and everything will reflect on your client automatically okay thanks for watch this video if you find this video helpful kindly subscribe it and share with your friend hit the like button